It's a huge privilege for me to be involved in this. Um, I've served in the army for 32 years. Uh, and of course, I'm not of the vintage of when Dame Vera Lynn galvanized a nation. But I have seen her galvanize a nation on different occasions. So for example, Victory in Europe Day 50, um, VE 75 this year, uh, where the nation used the, the vehicle of Dame Vera Lynn's wonderful music to bring together and, and celebrate um, such sacrifice from across the nation. And I can only imagine um, how special she was remembered or in all of those soldiers that took part in, in the Second World War and since. And even though it was an awful long time ago, you know, I, I feel very close to the fact that Dame Vera Lynn meant so much to all members of the services because she, she gave hope when people's hope was waning. And, uh, and we owe it to Dame Vera to, to deliver a, a solemn procession for her and for her family on Friday. So today's event is, is, is really, really special because um, Dame Vera Lynn has woven together the services throughout her life, 103 years, an incredible amount of time, incredible uh, part that she played during the Second World War and also raised so much money for service charities, I think in excess of 50 million pounds. So her legacy is, is immense and amazing. And having served an awful long time on operations myself in my, in my lengthy career, you, you hang on to the hope of, of such people. And, and it means an awful lot uh, when you can think of home when home is such a long distance away, that's incredibly supportive. Uh, and, and improves morale. And I can only think about Dame Vera Lynn's uh, support and what it meant to all those people fighting the war in Europe, North Africa, and the Far East during the Second World War, where she gave hope where it was very difficult for them soldiers, sailors and airmen to find hope.